Last time we left off. What was we up to? Oh, we were working on the fire spawning. We got the fire spawning on the ground. Oh, yeah, right here. Ooh. I'm gonna have to. That's tough. Okay, uh, what I want to do now is work on the collision for the fire. I need to figure out the collision detection for this fire. But we can do that easily first. Perfect, perfect. I wanted to have that kind of jump where you barely dot barely dodge it. I think that looks great. Yeah, see when I get hit by the asteroid, it happens like right there. But the particle emission happens. Oh, I forgot. Uh yeah, I know where what I have to do here. Um I, I it was staring me right in the face. So looking here in the code, when we instantiate the effect, we choose the position as well. And for this one, it made sense to instantiate the effect where the position of the asteroids were. Because when the asteroid hits you, it's like right on you and the asteroid is breaking. But the flame effect, it makes more sense for the flame effect to occur on the player's body. Because the fire is going to be stationary and not destroyed, but um, the player is going to be affected. So, I'm trying to see. I could have the fire appear slowly, but... Uh, Maybe I can do is like give like a warning signal of a like one second before the fire comes. Could that work? Like have the location marked where the fire is going going to uh, appear. And then I think uh, this game might be ready to go after we add one more power up, maybe a few more levels, and then one more power up to dictate. Uh, I mean, ready to go for game day one release. Or version 1.0. We just need to figure out a power-up that gives you invincibility. Oh, what would be cool, maybe? Hold on. It wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> but I can show what I'm talking about. I'll need to get a few apples first. Oh, I wasn't looking in fire appeared. Right. Okay, so right there. When the asteroid falls, what if fire comes out from where it falls, like the location? Um, that wouldn't be too hard to implement. Oh, you know what? It's fine, actually, because the issue I was thinking about is that if apples are spaced all over the map and you're also in a spot that makes it hard to find room between the player and the apples for fire to spawn, it might clog up the memory with this while loop running. But I forgot that apples have randomness in their verticality. So if the apple's up in the air, if it's outside the fire's range, it's not a problem. So there should be more much there should be room. You would think all this playtesting would make me better at the game, but I'm very Mediocre, I would say. Yeah, I like chip two music. I'm glad you like described it as that. Like, this is like this always has a special place in my heart, and I feel like this music really captures the aesthetic of this kind of platformer 2D game. I don't know if it's really a platformer because there's only one, there's only one um, surface that the player can jump on right now. I, part of the reason why I wanted to make do this live is to make it a collaborative thing where um, I get ideas and inspiration from people. And sometimes, you know, when you're reviewing your own code or you're reviewing your own game, like you could be blinded and you might not have like the full perspective of uh, something that could be wrong or something that could be really good. That's cool. Minecraft is like, it's amazing how like Minecraft goes through waves of being super popular and then maybe not as talked about and then super popular again. Or maybe I'm out of the loop. 
Maybe Minecraft's always been super popular because I just learned about that creator dream. He did the face reveal. And like when I looked in his channel, he's like, he's like a really, really popular Minecraft uh, creator. So it's cool that like Minecraft and Fortnite is still like super big. I love, I love it. I guess I'm guessing Roblox would be su super popular right now still. Like these are gonna look pretty basic to me. Actually, we could do something like this. It actually looks cool to draw, but it's gonna look too similar to my to my uh, to my bananas. I think I'm I'm basically following the guy. Like I'm using this as pretty much copying this pineapple. We'll put our own spin on it later, but pixel art is. I think it's really um there's no way to like i don't even know how to describe this but i do think a lot of people can make really cool stuff on pixel art if they uh, try Tripping. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. That, that's how game development. Yeah, like when you make a game, especially when you're making it solo, you have to like be the designer, unless you're like outsourcing that and work with people. Pineapple's invincibility for a few seconds. Yeah, that's the idea of what this power up is going to be, DJ. The apples, you collect that as the main portion of the game, you know, to increase your high score. The bananas. And everything else is going to give you power-ups. So the bananas give you that super jump. Uh, the clock slows down the asteroids. And the pineapple is going to be the invincibility. Um, I think the power-ups we have here are... Every, once I figure, once I implement the pineapple power-up, I think that's everything that I want the day one game to have. And then just focused on fixing all the bugs that pop up. Probably would have been better to do it earlier in the release cycle. Okay, see, that's the fire. Shows up at level 40. Oh, I got hit by that. And it will spawn randomly. Uh, oh, it's hard to dodge. Dang, I had I was doing really well. Oh, yeah, and every level you get, you... Every level you reach, you get an additional heart on the top left. So what I'm thinking of is um, potentially... I don't know if Steam will let me, but... Maybe I'll give out free codes on my stream. When I stream, I'll be streaming this game for sure once it's out, and I'll be pushing updates. Can I wishlist this? Yeah, um, if you go to the Steam uh, page, let me bring it up here on, on stream, and I'll also um, put a link in the YouTube, uh, in the YouTube chat. So here's the uh, Steam page currently, and it's the trailer I made. Uh, what about poisonous tomatoes or something in later levels? Whoa. So uh, where can you wish list this? Uh, right on top here. Right? Oh, wait. Huh? Where do you wish list? Oh, add to your wish list. Yeah. So what I'm planning on doing tomorrow is working on a pineapple. 
Uh, thanks again, DJ, for the suggestion. We're going to be working on the pineapple. Going to be getting that power up working. And then we're going to be focused a lot on glitches. It's 227. Yeah, yeah. I'm also on the East Coast. Um, so it's 2.47 a.m. for me, too. You'll probably be there. Nice. Hope to see you guys there. Um, we're going to be working on pineapple power up and then we're going to be working on glitch, glitch fixing and, uh, making sure everything's okay. Cause I want to update the game before it drops. Thanks for, uh, tuning into the stream. Thanks for everything. So I'll be heading out, but I will see y'all tomorrow.